Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever wondered what happens inside a man's brain and heart that make him want to commit, stick around because I'm about to demystify this process for you in our episode today. Hello, this is Bern, welcome to your great life to that come today. It's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you four essential forces that are necessary for a guy to want to commit to you. Now, here's the situation. You've probably had this happen to you where you find a guy who's amazing. He seems to be the right guy. Things are happening. He starts taking a lot of action. And all of a sudden, his interest starts going down. And when the time comes where something needs to happen for both of you to move forward to the next step, he freezes, he gets cold feet, he doesn't take action. So what I'm going to be sharing with you right now is four things that must be present inside a man's head and in his heart for him to want to commit to you. The first one seems like it's simple, but I'm going to clarify this because some women get this wrong. The first one is physical attraction and chemistry. Now, physical attraction is something that a lot of women get to feel, well, if I don't have the genetics, then he's not going to feel as attracted to me. I'm here to tell you that's complete BS. Guys will feel attracted to you, not based on your genetics or your size or your shape, but based on how you show up. There's so many amazing women out there who you would never, I mean, you would never catalog as being a model or somebody who's going to show up in a magazine, but they carry themselves with so much passion, so much grace, so much aliveness that they have this in interesting thing inside that men just find so appealing, so mysterious, and they want to connect with those women. So if you are not born with the genetics that you want, you can always show up the right way. When you show up the right way, you command attention and you command chemistry. Okay, so that's very important. The, the, the second thing that you need to have uh, in order for your guy to want to commit to you is you need to be able to do three things. They're super simple. If you can write them down, please do so. The first one is he needs to feel accepted appreciated and wanted in that order. Accepted means that you don't want to change him, that you understand who he is. You can definitely set boundaries and you can, because the guy's going to be testing you, you can definitely set boundaries. But for the most part, you don't want to change who he is. Appreciating him means that you're able to vulnerably let him know, these are the things I love about you. I feel so special when you do this for me. I feel so grateful for this. And he starts feeling two things. He has a chemistry, but he starts getting something called emotional connection. When the emotional connection and the chemistry are there, that's like the magic recipe for a guy to want to go deeper. And then the third step is wanting him. When he feels accepted, appreciated, and wanted, you tap into his emotional side, his animal side as well, where magic happens. When those two things are combined, magic happens. The third thing that needs to be present for a guy to feel your, I mean, to want to commit to you is he needs to feel your worth. Men need to feel like there's somewhat of a challenge in connecting with you. Why? Because if a guy gets something that's way too easy, he doesn't have to work for it, then he doesn't value it as much. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. There's a crappy way, which is you can play games for a guy to start valuing you, or you can do it through standards and you can do it through, <laughs> through boundaries. And let me share with you kind of how this works, okay? The old way is, well, I want, a, I, I want a guy to know that I'm valuable, so I'm going to flirt in front of him. Uh, or I'm going to play games when he calls me, I'm going to say I'm busy or I'm with somebody else. And that's basically the wrong way to do it because, uh, yes, the guy's going to feel like you have things going on, but they're not true and they're not necessarily making you grow in, in, in this area. So the, the easier way to do this or the more fun or the more powerful way to do this is through setting boundaries and standards. What does that mean? That means that if a guy uh, wants to connect with you and, uh, and he's calling you on a Friday night and it's Basically, and that's when, and he wants to invite you for Friday, that you actually do have something going on. Not, not that you make up that you have something, you actually have something going on, and therefore, he needs to be able to give you more time in advance before you can do this. Or he shows up late, that you let him know that you appreciate when he shows up in time. Or he wants to have sex with you before you're ready, that you say absolutely no, and you're able to stand your ground and not feel shaken and not feel afraid that the guy is not going to show up. When you're able to set standards and boundaries, he gets something inside his head that says, you know what, for this woman, I have to show up more as a guy. I have to elevate my game. I have to become a better guy. This means two things. A, I'm going to be better. I'm going to get stronger. But B, this is not a woman that anyone can get. And when he feels like there's a challenge because not any idiot can get you, he feels, well, I'm more special. So I'm more unique. If I get her, I'm more valuable as a man. So that's when things start happening in terms of commitment. The last thing that the guy needs to feel if he's going to commit to you is he needs to be able to feel like a man. Here's why. Feeling like a man is going to help him tap into his biggest need as a guy, which is being of service to a woman 
when he connects with you, being a service to humanity, but in this case to a woman, is so important because when he can tap into service, he knows he can make you happy. When he knows he can make you happy, he can commit because committing means he's going to be happy. If he feels he can't make you happy, committing to you would be suicide. So a lot of women who are beautiful, smart, passionate, but who don't let the guy feel like a guy, the guy starts feeling some, at some level, you know what, I'll never make this woman happy, therefore I'm going to be miserable so I can't commit. So I'm not saying that if you do these four things and if you play your cards right, the guy is going to do this. There's some guys who don't want to commit, but by there's, I can tell you something, if the guy has this wishy-washy attitude about him, but he's still the kind that can't commit, if you start doing these things, playing your cards this way, it's going to be a lot more likely that the guy's going to want to commit. So here's the thing, if you like this video, if you think this is powerful, if you think this is insightful, I'm going to invite you right now to click like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and most important of all, underneath the description of this video, there's going to be a link that will allow you to go into a webinar where I'm sharing with you a proven blueprint to connect to your soulmate in 90 days or less. So click like, enter your email address, you'll get this full training, which is free, and uh, you'll never miss an episode because you'll get more information from me and more insights and more powerful stuff that I only share with my list. Thank you so much for connecting with me. If you have any questions, write a comment below, let me know what your questions are, and I'll be more than happy to personally answer them for you, and look forward to connecting with you so soon. Bye.